A group of Jamaican computer programmers are turning heads in the Silicon Valley in California. They're working on computer software that does human language translations in real time. They've impressed Microsoft, as Michael Sharp reports from California. Meet Damian Mitchell, Asen Baxter, Conroy Smith, and Imran Ali. They're all past students of the Northern Caribbean University and regional winners of the Imagine Cup, sponsored by Microsoft and British Telecoms. The group is one of six top teams now assembled in San Francisco's Silicon Valley, hoping to transform their projects into viable products. The others are from Poland, Thailand, Mexico, Korea, and Ireland. The four Jamaicans hail from the parishes of Manchester and St. Elizabeth and got here by winning the regional competition between eight universities and then placing third on the world stage by heading off 54 other countries. They now hope to score again by winning the prize for the most viable project now being showcased at the Computer History Museum in San Francisco. But what exactly is this project? We got a theme from Microsoft which says, imagine a world where technology enables a better education for all. Our solution basically dissolves language barriers in the sense that a student could be in Dominican Republic and the professor is in Jamaica, but whatever course material that the instructor is given in the class will be translated in the native language of that student in the Dominican Republic. So we saw where CADI can actually change the way that education is offered, not only in the Caribbean, but also on a global landscape. There was keen interest in Jamaica's project. The Imagine Cup is the world premier student competition which challenges students worldwide to take on a technology challenge for social change. It's not the first year Jamaica's done pretty interesting in the Imagine Cup, by the way. If you go through the history, the year before, uh, there was a great showing as well. So you, you clearly have a talent pool um, that uh, the world should pay attention to. I, have to. I have to comment specifically on these guys because there is a charisma, and there is a personality, there is a, a remarkable level of intelligence um, that in this team you should all be extremely proud of uh, because they, they can do anything they want to do and I think we're lucky enough to have them with us today so you know I think they're a great indication of what we can expect from from Jamaica in the future now on the world stage the four members have gained invaluable lessons in life my family is behind me 100 percent and I think the family element in Jamaica is somewhat um, degraded I should say and that's one of the key things that's missing in Jamaica right now and my friends they support me trust me they're behind me 100 percent they're always been a source of encouragement I want to make my mark on this world that whenever my children and grandchildren hear of Conroy Smith they say oh yes Conroy made some things happen for Jamaica made some things happen in this world so the intent is to bring our solution to the fullest bring it to where it matters most that Jamaica the Caribbean Central you know that area will benefit and the world at large. Whatever you do, do your best. Because you do not know when that opportunity will come for you to seize it. And as the team work on strategies to turn their ideas into dollars, there is work for them upon their return to Jamaica. We will be having a pilot run at the university, Northern Caribbean University, because we have several extension campuses. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be using this software on the other campuses and maybe have a class being taught from the main campus to see exactly how this software works. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, it's amazing. You guys have done a great job. This little rock called Jamaica has captured the world's attention with our music and in the field of sports. And now, four past students from NCU are set to conquer the field of information technology. Michael Sharp, Silicon Valley, California, for TVJ News.